Really good to see you. Thanks for having me. So it's interesting now with our girl, I mean, something like, this is really based on what happened. We all know what happened in Nigeria yeah. when the, those poor girls got taken away by terrorists. And mm -hmm. it's how, how that is dealt with by your squad. Yeah. So we, we're there actually on a humanitarian miss yeah. m m m mission for inoculations and whatnot. And Georgie Lane decides that she is going to save these girls. It's not part of our original mission. Sure. But basically she's, she's broken away and has ended up kidnapped. Mm. So it's uh, up to us to rescue her. So you get her back. Because yeah. she's a maverick, isn't she? She's totally a maverick. Whereas Captain James, <laughs> he goes by the rules. He straight, says the rules, says the rules. He's, I know. Doing, he's, he's there what he should be doing, you I know? know. And she's, uh, she's always breaking away and like, she's driving the energy and the story forward, basically, by being sure. a complete rebel. But I do like the dynamic between your character and Michelle's character. It's yeah. sort of, it does, it does work, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. she's always just push, push, pushing all the time. Yes, he's, trying and he's to... always trying to wrangle I know, her. I know, I know, I know. Keep her on the straight and narrow, but she just won't do it, yeah. And you've travelled a lot in this past couple of series, haven't you? There's been a lot of travelling, a lot yes. of different locations. Yeah, so last year we spent, we were filming it for eight months, the 12 episodes, and we were in three different countries. So we started off in Nepal, yeah. then went to South Africa for a couple of months, and then we were in Malaysia for, yeah. for four months. So yeah, yeah, all around the place. Yeah, it's great. great and great. you must, I mean, the way you just said there, eight months, you're away from friends, from family. You've yeah. got to really bond as a, as a unit, haven't you? Cast and crew. Yes, and luckily it's a sweet relief that we all get on very, very Thank well. You. Can you imagine? Exactly, because <laughs> we're with each other so much of the time. It would be terrible. You know, the day, the day is long, it starts at like 5 a.m. pick up. We finish like 8.30 in Malaysia every night. So that's a whole day together. And unlike other shows, you can be on a cast and not meet an actor if you haven't got a scene with them. Right. But this show, we're all in all scenes, that's all right. together most of the time. So, you know, we spend so much time together. So, yeah, we're all great friends, which is, which is brilliant. Now, look, Michelle Keegan is gorgeous. Yes. I mean, she, she wakes up. Beauty. I think angels sort of polish her overnight because she just totally. wakes up looking yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. And it's a bit of a shame because people have had a go and said she's too pretty, she's too glamorous for that role. The thing is, that's Michelle. That's what she is. Oh, it's both of us, yeah. Look yeah. at you two there, pretty <laughs> cute. <laughs> there, are, there are people that take care and take pride in their appearance that are in the army. We've met yeah. several women that work in the army who you know, don't look dissimilar to Michelle. She's not, she's not exactly sitting in the makeup chair for two hours. That's no, hard. literally getting sweat sprayed all over <laughs> us, glycerin to make us look sweaty. You know, it's not, um, it's not loads she of power. She still looks foundation. fantastic, yeah. as do all of you boys. Yeah. To be fair, everybody does. That's yeah. just the way it is. No? Now look, this is changing the subject completely. Yeah. Tell me about Send a Cow. I love this so much. You're an ambassador for Send yes. a Cow. How do I send a cow? Why would I send a cow? What's it all about? So uh, <laughs> to find out more about the charity, go to sendacow.org. But so I'm, I'm working as an ambassador for them to become self-sufficient and self-sustaining. So it's That's sustainable, idea. sustainable agriculture. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. They can sense. put food on their own tables and then they eventually become enterprising. They can sell their crops um, and earn money that way. And it's just transforming. It's completely transforming people's futures. It is, um, by sending them a cow. Yeah, and it's not aid. It's not it's No, not, um, it's, it's allowing people to... Because you yeah. don't want handouts and people are proud. Yeah. You don't, and I always think just giving money is it's really patronising as well. You know, it's yeah. kind of like, oh, there you are. There're large yes, you yeah, know. Yeah, no. You, you want them to, you know, you want people to have dignity. Yeah. That's amazing. And for you to go and do that. Confidence and dignity. Yeah. It's empowering them to make their own change. So yeah, yeah, very proud to be. Isn't that where the job that you do is really satisfying? Not just the job that you do, but you can do things like that? Yeah, definitely. You know, definitely, you can do, yeah. just because you've been on the telly, yeah. <laughs> you can go yeah, and do that. Yeah, exactly, and help, try and help them raise awareness. So, That's yeah, it's fantastic. a huge privilege. I think it's a great idea. We'll stick all the details in our, in our website. Oh, great. Great fantastic. to see you tomorrow night, BBC One, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, yes. We will be know. there, our girl. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you great so much. Great to see you, Ben.